This is practice problem number three from lesson five, Introduction to Linear Relationships. This is a problem about Tyler and Elena running. They're on the cross country team. And the question is who runs faster, who runs farther in 10 minutes, how much farther, and what's their pace? Or in other words, how many minutes does it take each of them to run a mile? Those kinds of questions. These are proportional relationships. And we'll talk about that more in a few minutes. Um, so Tyler's distance and times are shown in the graph. And this graph I expanded larger on, well, actually, in the next few pages, you're going to see a larger version of this graph. And Elena's information is given right here. Her equation, the equation for her running is y equals eight and a half or eight and five tenths times x, where x represents the distance in miles. So this x right here is how many miles she runs, and the y represents her time in minutes. So she runs for one mile, how long does that take her? Well, that takes her eight and a half minutes, because one times eight and a half is eight and a half. So that's the answer to one of the questions right there, is eight and a half minute, minutes per mile is her pace. And then one of the questions is, how far does she run in 10 minutes? So let's take a look at that. How much farther, how far in 10 minutes? Um, who runs faster, how much farther? And calculate the pace, who's running faster. All right, so Elena, y is equal to eight and a half x. And they give that to you in the problem. And they tell you that this x value is the mile. So if you set up a little table here, you usually set up the x values on the left, the y values on the right, and the x values are the, the numbers going into the equation. That's what you're, you're going to calculate y given x. Usually, in this case, you're going to calculate x given y. You're going to be given 10 minutes. But for a moment, if we go from the left to the right, if you run for one mile, that takes you eight and a half minutes. So this y value divided by x, that's eight and a half minutes per one mile. That is the constant of proportionality because this is a proportional relationship. Um, you can have a constant of proportionality. That's the same as the unit rate. That's the same as the rate of change. That is the same as the slope. So this value in a proportional relationship actually has four different names. Constant of proportionality, slope, rate of change, and unit rate when it's measured against one unit, in this case, one mile. All right, so to use that, run for one mile, how long does it take? It takes eight and a half times one. Run for two miles, it takes eight and a half times two. Well, actually, if you run for two miles, how long does that take? It's gonna be two times eight and a half, which is equal to 17 minutes. So the question of how far does she run in 10 minutes is gonna be less than um, two miles more than one mile, but less than two miles, because 10 minutes is more than eight and a half, but 10 minutes is also less than 17, 17 minutes for two miles. Now, what about the issue of being given 10 minutes? You're gonna go the other way. So if you multiply by the constant of proportionality to go from miles to minutes, if you're given minutes, then you multiply by the reciprocal of the constant of proportionality. That is one over the constant of proportionality, that is called the multiplicative inverse. You just flip the, the number over to make it a fraction, and you multiply by the reciprocal. That is the same. Operationally, you're going to do the same thing. You are going to divide by 8 and 5 tenths to figure this out. It's the same as multiplying by 1 over 8 and 5 tenths. So if you have 10 minutes and you multiply by the reciprocal, Basically, you're going to take that 10 minutes and divide by 8 and 5 tenths. And you're going to get an answer that's between 1 and 2 miles. 1 mile, once again, is 8 and a half minutes. 2 miles is 17 minutes. But you're given 10 minutes. So in between um, 1 mile and 2 miles is this amount of 1 mile and 18 hundredths of a mile. So 1 and 18 hundredths miles. So this is the answer to how far Elena runs in 10 minutes and her pace. How fast does she run? She runs eight and a half minute miles or eight and a half minutes 
or for every mile. Okay, so what about Tyler? Now, if Tyler runs faster, it's going to take him less time to run a mile. And if Tyler runs faster, he's going to run farther in 10 minutes. So think about that for just a second. If he's running faster, he's going to get farther in 10 minutes. And if he's running faster, it's going to take him less time to run one mile. So Tyler's information is given on this graph. And um, it does go through zero, zero. It is a proportional relationship. And so let's zoom in for a second. After one mile, it takes him eight and a third minutes. Let's zoom in and see that eight and a third a little bit closer. So this is the one mile right here. So where it intersects with this line, it's at this point right here, which is right on this grid line. So you follow this grid line over to the y-axis, and that is at eight and one-third minutes. So eight and one-third, if you count up three, one, two, three, this would get you to seven. So each of these lines is one-third of a minute. So you're at eight, so one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds to get to nine. So this line right here is, is, is at eight and one-third minutes. So it takes Tyler eight and one third minutes to run one mile. Well, that is his pace. That is his constant proportionality because in a, in a proportional relationship, the, the constant proportionality is how far you move in one unit along the x-axis or how, how many units in the vertical direction are there for one unit in the horizontal direction. Well, one mile is eight and a third minutes. So that is y over x. That's the constant of proportionality. Because again, in a proportional relationship, you just use the coordinates. Um, the y value is eight and one third minutes. And the x value is one uh, mile. So y over x, the um, number of units in the vertical direction compared to the number of units in the horizontal direction, is eight and one third minutes per mile. Proportional relationship. So you don't have to move the slope triangle anywhere. It's right against the origin. So you can just use the value for y divided by the value for x. And when it's one unit, that's the constant of proportionality. So all this stuff should be coming back to you. So the number of units in the vertical direction, once again, is eight and one third minutes. And the number of units in the horizontal direction is one mile. So what that says is that y over x, this is the k in the equation. So this is the constant proportionality. y over x is equal to eight and one third. Eight and one third over one, which simplifies to eight and one third. And what that says is that the number of units in the vertical direction is eight and one third times the number of units in the horizontal direction. So the number of units in the vertical direction equals, so y is equal to eight and one third times whatever number of units you have in the horizontal direction. So in this case, it's one, so this is eight and one third. Two, it's two times that. Um, 16 and two thirds minutes for two uh, miles. All right, so let's go back to this problem and fill in the data for Tyler. So his equation is y equals eight and one third times x. So eight and one third minutes for every mile. So one mile, he runs eight and one third minutes. So this is the constant proportionality that we just looked at. So the constant proportionality is y divided by x. And so that is eight and one third minutes divided by one mile. So um, this is his pace, by the way, eight and one third minutes per one mile compared to Elena's pace, which is eight and a half minutes per one mile. So Tyler is running faster. It takes him less time to run one mile. We'll talk about this more in a moment. All right, so if, you, if he runs for one mile, that's times eight and one third. It gives you eight and one third minutes. But what if they give you the number of minutes? So they're gonna ask you to calculate Tyler's miles for 10 minutes. 
Well, then you multiply by the reciprocal of eight and one third. This gets a little bit tough, but I'm gonna work through this as a fraction. Hopefully to show you it's easier if, if you keep it as a fraction. You could change it to decimal, 8.33, 8 and 33 hundredths if you want. Um, and you might argue, well, that's a lot easier, but you have to use the calculator then, because I, I would have to use a calculator. Most people would use a calculator. But you can do it with fractions without using a calculator. So the reciprocal of 8 and 1 third is 1 over 8 and 1 third. And operationally, you can divide by 8 and 1 third. Now, 8 and 1 third, you have to get used to, if it's going to be easier in fractions, you have to get used to working with fractions. So you have to recognize that this 8 and 1 third is the same as 25 thirds. So here's 8. If you divide that every part into three equal parts, that's going to be 3 times 8 is 24 thirds, plus one more third is going to give you that 25 thirds. So 8 and 1 third is equal to 25 thirds. Well, the reciprocal of 25 thirds is just, it's called the multiplicative inverse. You just flip it over to 3 25ths. Because if you multiply 3 25ths times 25 thirds, they equal 1. So they are called multiplicative inverses. So you're going to multiply by the reciprocal of 25 thirds, which is 3 25ths or that's the same as dividing by 25 thirds. But when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So you multiply by 3 25ths. So it's all kind of comes together in eighth grade for you, hopefully. All right, so let's take a look at what the answer is for just a second. So that's gonna be 10 minutes times 3 25ths. So another way to think about that is 3 25ths of 10 minutes. You multiply those two together, and you get 1 and 20 hundredths. Now, that's a little bit hard to see right now. I'm going to go through that calculation. But that number is between 1 and 2 miles, and that makes sense. Um, 8 and a third minutes is going to give you 1 mile. 16 and 2 thirds minutes is going to give you 2 miles. Well, 10 minutes is in between 8 and a third and 16 and 2 thirds. So it's going to be in between one mile and two miles. So it's one mile and 20 hundredths of a mile. So the calculation is 10 times 3 25ths right here. It's going to be 10 times this 3 25ths. So you're going to go to the left. 10 times 3 25ths right here. All right, so 10 times 3 25ths, just to look at it. Try it on your own. Think about it. It is not that bad. So 10 times 3 is 30. That's going to give you 30 25ths. So 10 times 3 is 30, 30 25ths. So what's 30 25ths equal to? Well, that's 1. 25 25ths is 1. And you have 5 25ths left over. So this is 1 and 5 25ths. Well, 25 25ths simplify. These things have to become easy for you as you learn your multiplication facts, and you learn to go from fractions and simplify them, equivalent fractions, and so on and so forth, these calculations become automatic. So 5 25ths is the same as 1 5th. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 25 divided by 5 is 5. So 1 and 1 5th, you might know, or you can calculate, that's equal to 1 and 20 hundredths. 1 5th is the same as 2 tenths. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 5 is 10, or 2 tenths. So 1 and 2 tenths, or 1 and 20 hundredths. So it sounds hard, but it's actually quite simple as you practice it. So this is 1 and 20 hundredths. So who's running faster? Um, Tyler's running faster. He runs farther in 10 minutes. And how much farther does he run? He runs 2 hundredths of a mile farther, so two hundredths miles farther than Elena in 10 minutes. So this is the two hundredths right here, one and 20 hundredths minus one and 18 hundredths equals two hundredths. And Tyler is running faster. He runs farther in 10 minutes. So it also takes him less time to run one mile. It takes Tyler eight and a third minutes to run one mile takes Elena eight and a half minutes to run one mile. And so the last question is, how many seconds longer does it take Elena to run 
that mile than Tyler. So eight and a half minutes, that half minute is 30 seconds. How many seconds is a third of a minute? Well, a third of a minute is 20 seconds. So it takes Tyler eight minutes and 20 seconds, it takes Elena eight minutes and 30 seconds. So it takes Elena 10 seconds longer to run that one mile. Now, this is problem number three. 